Those things are junk food. They want to make a commodity out of what nature has created for us. In Belgium, Philippe Lambert is a star of the fight against abusive banking practices. He knows the communication methods of multinationals perfectly well. Idi house lai yes seat wars ko bare ma view tatha vision haru ko bare ma kehi jikyasa bhaye hajur haru le waha ko yo chalfal pachi sodna saknu hune cha the best thing uh, to begin would be to introduce uh, that each of us introduce himself so how about in the start uh, my name is kunda dikset i am with the nepali times newspaper uh, namaskar my name is Ram Madhurana. I'm with Liebert. Uh, I'm Clement. I'm the director of the documentary. Namaskar. My name is Madan Rai. My name is Madan Rai. I'm a Khetipati. 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 That a seed is actually something you eat, like a rice seed or a wheat seed. But that seed is also uh, like a genetic code for it to propagate itself. So I think this film really brings out the two aspects of seed as food and as a renewable uh, resource that replicates itself in future crops. Um, so that, that for me was, uh, that came out very, very well. And the fact that um, multinational corporations want to stop it uh, only at food so they can make money out of it and then make you make sure that you buy the next generation of seeds um, so that uh, it'll you know they make more money from it this patenting thing is wrong in the world the nature cannot be patented the sun the air the soil the water the space and the plant created by all these five elements cannot be patented they are nature they are God, they are everything, the real thing for humankind. The virtual thing can be patented, probably the metal you can form, different thing, plastic, or other product, but the nature, the real, the seed, you cannot. They are nature. This is, the world is going to the wrong, to a very, very wrong direction. I think, Clemo, you have rightly pointed out and raised this issue. This should be a global issue in WTO from onward. I want to suggest um, Kundaji to write strongly about this, particularly based on this film, and also please try to bring out one special issue on both uh, Himal Khabar Patrika and Nepali Times, because this is the issue. Everybody must know that the nature cannot be patented. You cannot. We don't, we belong to nature. Nature does not belong to us. Community seed banks to actually preserve this genetic wealth and resource that we have. Uh, 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 thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, yes, you have seen the sample of how Liebert is promoting community seed bank in different parts of the uh, different parts of Nepal. Actually, I mean, this activity is not only done in Nepal. We are actually promoting this in South Asia region as well, in Bangladesh, parts of India, and parts uh, in Sri Lanka as well. And basically, the the concept is empowering the community, giving power to the community so that they can uh, produce their own seeds, they can save their own seeds, they can exchange seeds amongst themselves, and if they wish they can actually sell the seeds. So that, uh, that is the basics uh, behind it, you know. The seed farmers, it is their basic right to produce seeds and to exchange seeds. That is all about Community Seed Bank. Thank you. Is it going to grow as a business? Or do you think public awareness is now reached such a point that at least in Europe, uh, this will not succeed? Uh, actually, to answer your question, I would like to rephrase uh, one of your sentences. Like, I, I heard you re recently say that, and I also uh, joined this this, uh, this word, you said, I'm a short-term pessimist, but long-term optimist. 
and I think it makes sense in that situation right. because we we have to raise and we tried to do it with the movie we have to raise public awareness because as long as we eat we are concerned uh, with seeds but do you feel like in Europe it's a losing battle or are you winning the battle it's just a question of time uh, I can answer... Uh, no, at the moment. Like, is it better moment, than five years ago? At the moment, we there is one uh, information I have to tell, like, this law we talk about in the movie has been uh, refused, okay. like, strongly by the MP, the member of the European Parliament. So this is very optimistic, actually. Mm -hmm. Because uh, thanks to Vendana Sh uh, Shiva, when she came yeah. to, to see the Greens, so uh, the Greens in Europe uh, achieved uh, to raise the awareness, so these votes for the for the law have, have been refused very strongly. So this is a sign of uh, but, optimism. But don't you think there's a danger for us in Nepal that if Europe stops buying GMO seeds, these five big multinationals will come to our part of the world? <laughs> that they'll come to India or Nepal or elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, I'll never go to China. <laughs> I think that uh, that possibility is there. But again, I think uh, we have to understand that uh, no matter, you know, in, uh, when you talk of hybrids or GMOs, you know, because of the topography or the ge geographic location of the Nepal, you know, no single variety is going to perform as they do in a monoculture environment. So nature has uh, given us the opportunity that diversity prevails in our system. Mm -hmm. I think that that is one thing uh, which no multinational can take away from us. But I wanted to ask you again, since you have the mic, uh, and you're from Pokhara, Libert is based in Pokhara, although it's an international NGO, almost, you're doing work all over the world, right? Actually, we are a local NGO, sir. Yeah, but you do work uh, elsewhere as well, yes, like in other that's parts true. of the that's world. True. Um, but the danger uh, in, in valleys like Pokhara and Kathmandu seems to be not so much from the multinationals, but from urbanization eating into um, you know, farmlands where there used to be microclimates for particular types of seeds. Yes. Isn't that a, a, a more urgent threat for us than from multinationals? Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more on this. I think uh, in our context, you know, the, uh, the rapid urbanization and unplanned uh, urbanization, I think that is something more serious than the, the, the multinational companies. I think for them, you know, if you take uh, Nepal as a whole, I think it's a very small market, you know, they would not like to devote uh, so much energy and resources uh, in penetrating our market. If they wish, they could do it anyway. So uh, for us, I think uh, uh, having a right kind of land use policy would be more effective uh, than, you know, devoting a lot of resources or combating or arguing on uh, something which is more distant. I think for uh, for uh, immediate as well as for the uh, medium and long term policy, land use uh, uh, land use policy and uh, proper implementation of that policy would uh, yield better result. That's my view. Just one, you know, if you want to see how much resource is used to produce our food. To produce a kilo of maize will require about 15,000 liters of water. And to produce a kilo of meat, you will require more than 200,000 liters. Mm. So you can imagine how expensive resource we have to <clears throat> you know, uh, use in uh, producing meat. Therefore, you can e easily imagine. Thank you. I think uh, Liebert being a research-oriented organization, you know, we have uh, always pride ourselves in providing choice to the farmers. So in this process, you know, we are also um, putting a lot of emphasis in collecting and tasting and promoting local land races from different parts of the uh, parts of Nepal. So. I think uh, 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 while promoting local land races, we are not only saying that it has to be done in a very traditional or conventional manner. You know, you could actually uh, promote local land races which are nutrient dense in a, uh, let's say, greenhouse. You know, sure. Yeah, that, that's going to uh, provide you better uh, income generating opportunities, and that would uh, actually uh, encourage younger generation to move into agriculture. 
mm. which uh, otherwise, you know, they would not be interested uh, uh, into agriculture anyway, you know. So uh, our job is to provide options to the farmers so that farmers can make informed choice based on uh, on their aspirations or their needs and whatever, you know. Yeah, and, and our job, your job and my job, is to take this and communicate it to a larger public. Yes, and you've indeed. done it through film, uh, we try to do it through mainstream media. Uh, but I think the main part is to be persuasive in your communication. You cannot talk down, you cannot preach, you have to be convincing. And the best way to be convincing is to get examples that have worked. Sure. In the local situation like in Nepal with Lee Bird. Or, yes. And I think communicating that not just to the public, but more importantly in Nepal to the policy makers and decision makers. Because in, in many cases, the farmer, farming public actually knows. They know what to do. It's the government people, parliamentarians, uh, bureaucrats who need to be told about the right policies. And I think that's where we come in. Uh, and internationally, of course, there's a larger global fight that we have to fight. Uh, and in this, um, Nepal is influenced in many ways. Uh, and uh, and I think that's where that's where the media comes in. Thank you very much uh, for the film. It was uh, brilliant. I think uh, it needs to have a larger audience also all over the world. Thank you, Liebert, and thank you, Madanji, for for coming here and sharing your your personal experiences. And thank you for staying here in the cold. Uh, we'll be coming down so you can ask us some questions face to face. Yeah, anytime. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, you so much. Can you repeat your phone number again? So. Yeah, I want to repeat. Yes, please. In fact, I'm serious about this because it, many people are confused. So 9841, those who are interested, 9841-746-555. 9841-746-555. Those who are interested, please come. Thank uh, you. Food is the basic. Thank you. I'm writing it for Le uh, Clement. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.